Hi, science and cooking class. This is your TF, Steve, and I'm here to talk to you today about um, diffusion, which is a very important process for uh, cooking. Um, it's the way that heat travels through food and cooks it. And it's also the way that other substances travel through food, such as the calcium solution that was causing your yogurt spheres to become gelled in the lab last week. So um, I'm going to tie this into the homework set and think about the Dennis the Menace uh, blueberry pie problem. Um, so what we've got there is a, a piece of blueberry pie. And the uh, small little molecules of blueberry pie are diffusing away from the pie um, by random motion. Um, so I want to just kind of review some of the things that were talked about in lecture and um, kind of try to give you some intuition for what's meant by uh, a random walk and then how it relates to this length of diffusion. Um, so I'd like you to imagine, um, based on this blueberry pie scenario, let's say we've got a room and we're looking at it from the side. That's what I've just drawn there. Um, and let's, let's imagine that half of this room has become filled up with wonderful, delicious particles of blueberry pie odor floating through the air. Um, but they're only on that one half of the room. And uh, let's say that that um, is happening at time equals zero, which could be anything. It could be 12 noon. So this lady starts at 12 noon. Um, what's going to happen over time is, can you guess what's going to happen? Okay. Let's take a moment. Think about it. Well, I'll give you a hint. They're not all going to stay on that same side of the room for the rest of the day. Um, a little bit later, we'll call this a little bit later, time greater than zero, say maybe 12.15 or something. Um, there still will be a preponderance of blueberry pie particles on that side of the room, but some of them will have started to migrate over to the other side of the room. Okay, And eventually, after a long, long time, Call that time very much greater than zero. All these particles will be evenly dispersed throughout the room. Okay. Um, what's meant by a random walk is that while we can kind of think of blueberry odor as spreading throughout the room from left to right, it's not the case that each one of these individual little particles is moving from left to right. So for example, this particle right here may have actually wound up moving to that position before maybe moving a little bit back that way. Um, whereas, uh, different color here, this particle um, may have taken a more kind of left to right path and maybe wound up all the way over there. <clears throat> so, Individual particles undergo these little random motions, you know, caused by bumping into each other or other types of very small scale phenomena. Um, when we talk about the length of diffusion in, um, in uh, the equation of the week, which is, uh, is this, length of diffusion equals the square root of four times the diffusion coefficient times time. Um, we're actually referring to some sort of aggregate measure of um, how far these particles have moved. So I'm going to redraw this situation here. And uh, I'm going to draw one kind of average particle, which represents the average position of, of all of these particles here. It would kind of be located in the middle <clears throat> of where that mass of particles was. You kind of think of it as a center of mass. So <clears throat> after a little bit of time, uh, the center of mass of this uh, this uh, particle group has shifted a little bit, um, maybe that far. And then after a lot of time, when they become evenly dispersed throughout the room, the average location would just be right in the middle of the room. So when we talk about this uh, length of diffusion, okay, over this first short time interval, 
um, this would, maybe I'll call this L1 for our first length of diffusion would be that. Um, that length right there between those two dashed vertical lines. And then much later in time, after things have become evenly mixed, um, we could call this our second length of diffusion there. Make sure everyone can, can see all that. All right. Um, so that, that's the concept of how a random walk of an individual particle kind of leads to an aggregate motion in one direction due to diffusion. Um, and as, as um, uh, Dr. Brenner mentioned in class, um, uh, diffusion is, is very efficient over small distances. Um, so because these little tiny particles are just kind of bouncing around over very small distances, um, uh, diffusion is uh, efficient over that scale. However, when we talk about much longer distances, such as um, the pie smell diffusing from one side of the room to the other, um, it's much less efficient and other processes are more important, um, such as convection currents, which is brought up in class. Um, anyways, um, that's, that's just kind of a quick overview of um, how the random walk concept relates to uh, diffusion um, and length scales that we think about, um, such as smells moving across the room. Uh, just really quickly, there's, there's uh, a lot of other important things out there that diffusion um, uh, affects. For example, um, if you're heating a frying pan, let's make a frying pan here. Sit at the bottom of a frying pan, and I um, oh, uh, don't know why that's happening. Why frying pan? Okay, frying pan and <clears throat> and fire on the bottom. So uh, you can imagine a cold frying pan going on the stove and turning on the heat. Um, and at first, the top of the frying pan is still cold while the bottom is very hot. And over time, that heat will actually diffuse up through the cast iron or whatever material you have. Um, and, and that's another process that's governed by diffusion. Um, and, and that kind of gets ahead to next week. We'll start talking about heat transfer, which is also a diffusional process. Um, and thinking about the molten chocolate cakes that you'll be making and and hopefully I'll be sampling um, in your lab next week. Um, so again, diffusion very important for cooking. It's it's how food cooks. It's how pickles are pickled. Just um, emphasize that how the brine would diffuse in towards the center of the pickle. Um, again, thinking about the problem set. Um, so important. Um, so you know, shoot me an email or talk to your TF if you want to review these concepts. And um, best of luck on your problem set. Uh, and have a good weekend.